How's it going everybody? GN here for Media Lodge, Get Zone, and Funker Tactical. And right now I am with Steve Fisher. How's it going, man? Good, bro. How are you? Good, good to see good. you. For those who don't know, who is Steve Fisher? Uh, Steve Fisher, Sentinel Concepts. Uh, been an instructor, consultant in the industry for about 19 years now. Uh, most notable at the time, I was working with Magpul for approximately four years, jump ship in 14, started my own company again, Sentinel Concepts, and here we are. So you're an active trainer? Correct. You're between trainer, instructor, or teacher. Which one of those do you feel is, is most closely tied to who Steve Fisher is? Teacher. Because tells here's the deal, an instructor tells people what to do. They instruct you what to do. Okay. A teacher actually makes you think. They give you problems. I give you an equation with variables, and I let you develop some type of formula to solve it on your own, to allow you to think for yourself, and not just have somebody over the top of you barking things at you, telling you what to do, giving you all the answers, because everybody's different. Everybody's job is different. Everybody's reason for having a gun, carrying a gun, using a gun. So I have to be more of a teacher than I do somebody telling you what to do. That seems a lot harder than just being spoon-fed and, <laughs> and telling me what to do. <laughs> it is, because being spoon-fed's easy, man. We, we, we've been spoon-fed since we were this big, dog. But it's what it really comes down to. It's like, hey, I will give you bits, but it's up to you to solve that based on what you need. And I'll give you the answers if you pay attention. But if you're not, you're not gonna hear them. Because I'll front load dudes. So given the nature of the industry and how people are being molded with social media nowadays, mm. is, it, is, that, is that a thing you have to overcome when somebody steps into your classroom or, or steps into your class, I should mm -hmm. say? Yeah, it, it is, because truthfully, uh, a lot of people, for whatever reason, are looking for answers, looking for the easy way out. While social media is a necessary evil of the industry, it's where everything is, because obviously we understand print media is one thing, social media is like almost instant gratification. Dudes want to know what they want to know the answers now, but what it's created is this era of know-it-alls, so to speak. It's like every dude has a voice now because of the internet. Every YouTuber, every dude's like, hey, I've got 80 bazillion views on YouTube. I know what I'm talking about. No, shut up, stupid, you don't. Because here's the deal. You're not out there. You're not doing it. You're not out training in it. You're not out understanding it. You're not learning it. You're not getting it. That information is just being spoon-fed to you again. And all you're looking for is that instant gratification via the internet. Man, how do we stop that? Because I, I, I do see that. You sure. know, it's based on the views that you have. You get credibility based on how well you manage the social network. That shouldn't be a thing that happens in this industry. No, it, that's not the criteria. While, again, there's a lot of good information out there on social media for some really credible good dudes that we know, that we understand, that we respect, there's a lot of shit. There's just a lot of dudes that have no clue, and they're parroters, and they're just they're just kind of regurgitating stuff that's been said for years. And dude, you need to actually get out and do it. Put your money where your mouth is. Show up and come do it. Show us what you've got. And that's the problem where a lot of dudes just want to sit at home on the couch, talk about it, do the whole gun camp thing with their buddies, and blah, 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 blah. Come out, put it where it is. And I understand it's expensive. It takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort. It gets you away from your family, your home life, whatever the case is. But what matters most? you what you think you know or what you're about to know and the problem is egos dude's egos get in the way like i still go to training a couple times a year with classes you don't just say that because i often no. hear instructors and no. teachers say that i'm uh you know i'm a part-time instructor but i'm a student always you, yeah, you actually always that. You that. we always hear that but right? you but actually take other instructors well, last year i took three classes last year uh between you know some stuff from Trident Concepts, Jeff Gonzalez, he's a buddy, Mike Pannone, uh, a couple other dudes that are out there. And then I start looking at other guys for the following year. You know, like this year, Kyle DeFore is on my list. Frank Proctor, these are guys that are buddies, dudes, respectable peers in the industry. Mike Pannone again as well for some different things that I'm looking at. And these are all good dudes. These are all good dudes that I've respected over the years that I'm friends with. I'm like, hey bro, you're gonna be around? Yeah, cool, let me know. I'm gonna send in the registration, send you some coin, and I'm gonna come in and jump into class. That's the important stuff. I don't go there to get information per se or material for curriculum. I go there to see how an instructor or a teacher approaches things, how they deal with students, how they deal with certain problems, and how they present information that may help me at some point with somebody else. So you mean you don't know everything? Oh, hell no. And you <laughs> no. You, you, you still make mistakes? Absolutely. Tell me about those. Tell me. Human why. being. Okay. We, we make them. It may be a shooting error, it may be a diagnostic error, it could be just the way I may present something to somebody that's not necessarily ready for A, and I'm giving them B. So yeah, those things happen, and there's a time that I have to flow based on the student's level, what's happening in the classes, and those are important things, but we are human, and this is why we go to these things, so I understand and even see my own flaws. I think, I think people hear these things and it makes sense to them, but uh, something needs to shift, so yeah. how do I, um, become a perfect student? Or how, how do I become a better student? 
oh, that's hard because it's based on that person and that ego. The best thing you can do is come to class. Come to class prepared, have all your kit squared away, all your gear for the practical applications over there. If it's a pistol class, dude, show up with your handgun, show up with the holster you daily carry, throw a magazine in your back pocket. Dudes will laugh at me because I often teach with a magazine in my back pocket or my front pocket because that's how I carry it right now. Handgun, magazine in my pocket. No big deal. Carbine, same thing. But come to class prepared, take notes, pay attention, ask the questions, ask the whys. This is why you are paying us. You are paying us for information download based on our experiences or whatever the case is. And your job is to pick our brains. That's why you're paying us. It's not just to go on the line and shoot drills. We are there to give you info. And you as a student have to ask us those things. And the other thing is, that, like, dude, if you don't understand it, you know, if the instructor's not, you know, giving it to you visually, auditory, he's, he's not telling you things, showing you things, doing the demos in all sorts of ways, you need to pipe up as a student. You're not gonna hold up the class, nobody's gonna care, dude. You are there to give that information, to get that info, ask questions, be a good student, leave the ego at home, don't be the guy, well, my instructor says, my instructor says, yeah, that's cool, bro, then go back to your instructor. You are here to learn something, you paid me for this, not to sit there and say, hey, my instructor says to do this. Well, that's cool, based on what your instructor is telling you versus what I'm explaining to you and showing to you what makes sense to you. There's a lot of ways, no one has the way. Mm -hmm. And that is applicable to everybody across the board. It could be a guy, it could be a gal, it could be a SWAT guy, it could be a patrol cop, it could be a mill dude, whatever it is. It still revolves around fundamentals, but you still have to be a good student willing to answer those questions and ask them. So when I, when I put up my hand in that class. I tell you to put it down because I'm tired of talking to you because you've asked 18 <laughs> questions, dog. There's that guy, right? There's that guy, there's, there's always, that that guy. That always, that, always that person. Okay, but if, let's say I'm not that guy, sure. it's, it's my first time or yeah. my second time asking a question. Um, are there red flags I should be looking for as far as how my instructor answers that question absolutely tell me about absolutely this. some of those red flags could be because this is the way we've done it mm. this is the way I'm telling you to do it right this is how you're going to do it like well, why what is the application behind it I need to give dudes that information that why and if an instructor doesn't give you the whys that are acceptable to your day-to-day -day life hey cool story dude everybody likes to go shoot carbines because they're awesome how often you carry a carbine every day if you're not a soldier or an elite guy working inside a certain environment that carries a carbine Cool, dude, you should probably be in a pistol class at that point. But again, they're still wise. You know, most dudes are like, well, I have a carbine for home defense. Cool, here's your answers. You know, it's, it's always to the context of the situation of the training that we are performing. And they, they have to give you those answers that are applicable to what you're doing and the wise behind it for you. Has there been an instance where you taught something in this decade perhaps and you don't anymore? Yeah. And is that okay? Oh, absolutely, everything evolves. Training curriculums evolve based on the students, the student needs, and today's current threat assessments. So having somebody who can give you that information and is willing to accept that, you know what, 10 years ago, this may have been not be the best method now, but it was then and it was perfectly acceptable. Now it's, dude, I gotta change this, I've gotta bring this to be more relevant based on information I've either learned or gathered. And I've put to a test, I've put down in practice, I've put it before test bed students, and I've bounced it off other instructors within the industry. Like, hey dude, is my thinking right on this? Because I need to verify and vet that out as well from others. I think people look for heroes and, and oftentimes when something like that happens, they're vilified in the social space. Yes. That's wrong, man. That, that yes. shouldn't happen. It's true, absolutely. What do we need to do to change things, man? <sighs> if, if you can have a magic wand and you can make things disappear and you can change this and you can change that, tell me what, what you would wave this magic wand on. And what would happen? Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of <laughs> waving, bro. That is a lot of waving. What I would probably end up doing, honestly, I mean, the ideal, God, it is so hard. It's just one of those things where it's like, I would get rid of a lot of cats in the industry that are just doing stuff for the likes, the shares, and the gear. They are like the gun bunny dudes of the industry. They are the dudes and dudettes that are out there that have no business being there. They are just nothing, again, but parroting information. They're unsafe, they're very unrealistic in their approach of what they're trying to teach people. And truthfully, there's no context to it. It turns into a big range fest. It's just drills and shooting and burning ammo, and there is no context to it. I just had a call the other night with a former student who went to a class like, dude, they got dudes standing down range between targets doing confidence drills in this class. I'm like, okay, pack your stuff and leave, dog. Ask for your money back. I mean, there's dudes like that that need to go away. They're absolutely, because they're just trying to boost something based on their lack of credibility in their curriculum to make it cool, which then in turn makes it unsafe. So if I could get rid of the stupid unsafe people, absolutely, dude. I would wipe a magic wand across half of YouTube. Okay, so you learn from all these uh, yeah. really, really special guys. There's special people and there's not so many special. You know, there's dudes that are grandmaster, world-class competitive shooters I will learn stuff from. A little bit more efficiency and how to work a gun, move with the gun, whatever. 
everybody has a segment that they can learn from, be it, be it the competitive guys, the quote unquote tactical world guys, the you know. But, but hold, hold on a second. Oh I, yeah. I, I hear this all the time when people are trying to vet online this instructor. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey man, how many gunfights have you been in? You hear this a lot. Oh yeah. Um, so. Can, can anything be passed on from somebody who's been in a gunfight to somebody who has not? Absolutely. Tell me, tell me sure, what that is. Sure, absolutely. It can, be, it can be their mindset, their attitude, what happened during it, what they were hearing, what they were seeing, how it was heading. Yeah, you may learn something from a cat who's been in 50,000 engagements with a carbine or a belt fed. How does that apply to you with a handgun if the dude hasn't done with a handgun? And that doesn't matter. The fact is that cat has been there. He has done something with something in, a, in his hand, a gun, and has engaged actual human beings. Yeah, absolutely. Is you that a criteria stuff. for you? Is that a must for no. an instructor have to have been in a gunfight? No, to be absolutely a good not. There's a lot of instructors out there that are great instructors that have never been in a gunfight, but they come from great places, so they have other experiences. Uh, like if I wanted to go learn how to shave seconds off my reloads or how to make myself more efficiently in some aspects, I'll be like, hey, man, I'm going to go talk to Rob Latham. Hey, I'm going to go talk to Jerry Barnhart. I'm going to go talk to Mick. I'm going to go talk to these competitive guys out there that are doing it every single day. And truthfully, both those worlds intertwine so much, dudes don't even realize it. I'm like, hey, you want to learn to get better at something? I tell students, it's like, yeah, I said, go shoot a USPSA match, man. Go shoot some three gun. Man, here's what I'm getting from you. You're really putting the onus back onto the student to understand who they are and what they need so that they can extract the most out of the instructor that's in front of them. Absolutely. 100%, that's all it is. It doesn't matter who you go to within within realistic you know context, but as long as you're pulling something away from them, that's all there is. Like, hey man, I want to go learn to shoot faster with my gun. I'm gonna go see Ben Stoger. I'm gonna go learn from some USPSA cats again, even though I used to shoot it years years back. You know, yeah, I'm gonna go learn from those dudes because they're the fastest, they're the best at this. Yeah, so what? It's not from concealment, but their mechanics are still their mechanics. If I want to learn how to do bounding, Overwatch movement drills to contact, I'm gonna go train with some dudes from a cool place. All these things are all contextual base of what they have done and what your needs are. Man, I, I started this interview series hmm. with these instructors thinking I'm gonna get gun lessons. Really, these are life lessons, man. Yeah. These are life lessons Absolutely. to know who you are so you can get the most and share the most with the people that you're interacting with. Absolutely, 100%. That's life. all it is. It's life lessons. That's all this is. Life. So where, where can we get more life lessons from Steve Fisher? You um, gotta have a website. Yeah, website, like that. Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, Sentinelconcepts.com is the website. Sentinel Concepts on Facebook. Uh, Sentinel, like underscore concepts on Instagram. And yeah, I'm out there. There you go, guys. Uh, for Media Lodge, Get Zone, and Funker Tactical, on behalf of uh, Steve Fisher, hope you guys enjoy this. I certainly learned a lot, so thank you one more Thanks, time. Thanks, brother. Man. Pleasure, man. Thank See you. you. Soon.